Good morning. Welcome to Goodwill Commodities. In this video presentation, we are going to see how we can trade in MCX copper market today. Before looking into that, let us see what happened yesterday and what we expected yesterday. The chart which you are seeing is the Goodwill Commodities starting tool. Whenever I place the cursor on any particular candlestick, you can see the date and time below. Now this uh, blue color candlestick indicates yesterday's price opening, which indicates that the market opened here 437. We made it very clear in our yesterday's weekly, uh, sorry, yesterday's uh, daily analysis. If the price is opening above 437 or near 437, we can expect the market to show a buying like what happened on November 20th. That can push the price till 442. But we expected some selling to happen near 442 and this can be a crucial trend deciding zone now let us see what happened after that we gave you two options the price opening above 436 near 437 or the price opening below 436 if the price was opening below 436 we expected the price to continue its selling because this 436 we don't want to take it very easily now let us see what happened after that because the expected price opening was above 436 and near 437 that induced us some buying like what happened on the previous day that was on November 28th so that pushed the price slowly and steadily you can see there was a lot of consolidation happening in between but the price was pushed down pushed down and slowly it's it is not a straight away pick up uh, towards uh, 442 because we know after the huge selling there will be some selling going on top so, um, after reaching this 442 there was a drop but th till this point whatever we expected happened we expected the price if the price is opening above 436 we expected that the price will slowly and gradually move towards 442 from 442 will be the trend deciding zone and uh, we made it very clear we expected some selling to happen near 442 that will be a pause or consolidation so that we can think about it later but what happened after that yes initially there was selling but after that a single candlestick breaking 442 with a huge force that pushed the price till 445 and then closed near 444.6 the ending thing happened in the price action was not as per our expectation but take it for granted uh, our goodwill commodities charting tool uh, did a wonderful job in identifying the trend whenever there is some difficulties in our analysis so that is the reason why we always say use the both uh, our charting tool and also our video analysis that will put you into the right direction how to trade in commodities uh. so now let us see what we can do for today the expected price opening as per uh, COMEX price direction we are not taking into account the rupee factor can be expected more or less within the same area where the price closed on the previous day which shows that it is going to be a continuation of what happened on the yesterday's market so what we normally expect is that since there was some uh, lack in our expectation because we expected some selling to happen near 442 but that didn't happen which means that we can take this 442 as the major support zone if there is some real buying today since the price climbed up there was uh, if you take a retracement levels there is a 50 percent retracement because the price was dropping from 458 and it reached nearly 430s also so there is a clear bounce back now the price is in halfway so if there is some strong buying happening in copper market what will happen if the trend is strong if this is the indication for short term uptrend up to uptrend what will happen the price today will put a closing above 446 to give a green signal to all the buyers no i am going up if that is not the case at least it will come down to 442 and take a support and again develop a platform like what it developed on four three uh, uh, 436 then we we'll get a price closing at least near the previous days price closing that will also give us an indication okay i am moving up but these are the two possibilities 
which can give us a confirmation what we got yesterday is an indication it is not a confirmation only today we are going to get the confirmation this can put us in the stronghold for buying but today if the price is breaking 442 and if we witness a closing below 442 again we will be in terrible uh, we will be uh, do we should do a lot of analysis uh, to take uh, a call about the price actions after that because it can possibly induce selling below 442 as per our earlier expectation so today is a very crucial day so we need a closing above 446 to give a green signal to all the buyers who stayed away like us because we also expected uh, selling to happen here 442 now we are in the confused state to take a call so if there is something above that if the price is strong we will also jump into like other traders so the price will be pushed higher so that is what we are expecting in copper market put a stay a uh, close to watch in the copper day because today is a friday market uh, if we can sustain today with uh, with uh, our expectation it will be easy for us to put a weekly analysis uh, uh, in the coming week so thanks a lot for watching our videos happy trading take care bye